In this video, we are going to look at this stunning glass pad, the Batsmith Dark Chaos, that come along in a collaboration with Face Kaylee, a professional Call of Duty female player. With Kaylee's unique artistic vision, that with collaboration of Batsmith artist Conradi, they've co-created this unique design for their striker series of glass mouse pads. The Dark Chaos features the same surface as the pads made with purple and brass, so if you are looking for a similar feel of the surface, but don't mind the difference in the design, I can highly recommend you looking at the purple and brass. Unfortunately, the Dark Chaos is a limited run, as Batman stated, they have no intended plans of restocking this limited colorway for now. Surface is a multi laterite textured glass surface, crafted with high quality tempered glass. This comes in a size of 4 90 and 420 in 4 mm thickness. In comparison with Skypad 3.0 XL, that comes in size of 500 mm in the width and 400 mm in the height and 4 mm thickness. The Skypad comes a 10 mm wider, but 20 mm shorter in height, but approximately same thickness. The Dark Chaos feels a bit higher than the Skypad 3.0 by a millimeter. So if you will compare them side by side, the Batman sits a bit higher, like one or two millimeters higher than the Skypad 3.0. From the testing of the speed test, there are results of the glide for both Batman Dark Chaos compared to Skypad 3.0, and the results are surprisingly different, from which the Batman seems to be slightly faster by a few milliseconds than the Skypad 3.0, which the Batman should be more balanced glass pad with a higher, lower, speed and more controlled surface. The Batsmith Dark Chaos feels to have a more overall static and dynamic friction compared to the Skypad 3.0, which results in better stopping power, but requires a bit more pull on the mouse to start moving compared to the Skypad 3.0, which has less dynamic and static friction, which results in less required pull on the mice to move. So in conclusion, the Batsmith over the Skypad 3.0 feels a more controlled glide with more friction, which can be a much better in tag FPS games, but might feel slower in track heavy games. There is the speed test sheet from the Batsmith Dark Chaos against the Skypad 3.0. Both tested glass pads have rounded edges, but the Batsmith Dark Chaos comes with more aggressive edges than the Skypad, which feels slightly rougher and more sharper on the edge of the Batsmith's on your arm while using it. The Skypad 3.0 feels much smoother even on the edges, so keep that in mind, but I haven't found it irritating to the point that it will make me feel it so much in game while using the Batsmith. Just something to mention, so you guys can have a better idea of difference of these two glass pads when you are looking for one over the other. For those who might be interested in using the Dark Chaos, even though if it's not recommended to use without arm sleeve, the feel of the surface is way smoother on the Patsmith over the sky pad, which results in much better feel on your hand while using it. I am not personally using an arm sleeve while using glass pads, and from my experience, the Patsmith feels much better on my hand without arm sleeve than on the sky pad, which feels more sticky. So I will say you should be using a sleeve for a sky pad, but not much needed for a smoother feel on the Batsmith Dark Chaos. The bottom of the Dark Chaos comes fully covered in silicone base, providing less movement and more stability while using it for gaming, which results in less movement on your desk compared to four silicone feet on the sky pad. In conclusion, if you are looking for a more balanced speed glass pad, the Batsmith Striker series is a winner over the sky pad. The overall design is much better, size was great for me, I prefer the full silicone base of the Patsmith over the four silicon dots on the sky pad, which was resulting in more movement on my desk. The feel of the surface on the dark chaos is much smoother on your hands and overall higher friction, which results in better control in game is a win for me, especially for its price which comes at $80, roughly around 90 euros, compared to $110 or 120 euro for the Skypad, which is definitely a win again in the price over the Skypad 3.0. My only thing I would mention on, on the Patsmith is the slightly sharper edges, but that doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't hurt my hand while using it, but it's something I want to mention so you guys know what to look for when searching for your next or first glass pad. And finally, the design that Conradi makes for Patsmith is just absolutely masterpiece. Your only downside might be the speed of the Patsmith 
Dark Elves or the Embers Barbell. If you are looking for more speeds, they are also making a Blue Embers, which is faster than this one. Also, they stated they are coming with a fully controlled glass pad, a red Empress, which will come out soon, hopefully this year. So hopefully in this video we covered everything about the Batmyth Dark Chaos. If you have anything you will want to ask or if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments. If you are looking for grabbing one for yourself, if you are in US, check out for Batmyth on their website. And if you are outside of US like I am for Europe, the official retailer is Max Gaming and for United Kingdom it's Zerg Gaming Mods. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more reviews coming to the channel soon and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.